Mayong aga, Gid, sa tanan. Ginawelcome, Gid, ang kadiisa sa aton panimbahon sa Sininga Aga. Pagsusubong adlaw, ginawelcome naton ang bulan sang September, first Sunday naton of the month. Gani, bago ang aton nga theme for this month. Pag nga aton nga theme, Seeking Christ by Giving. Based on Colossians chapter 3, verses 23 to 24. Whatever you do, work it with your heart. as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Yes, we are all serving our Master, the Lord Jesus Christ. Gani ang aton emphasis for this month is stewardship. It is my prayer nga tanan kita dululungan sa pagtuon kung ano gid ang pwede naton mahatag sa ginoo pag ano bala ang stewardship. Sa pagpanugod naton, let us all pray. We pray, O God, that we are able to worship you in spirit and in truth as sinigid nga aga. Nagapangayo kami ginuos ang patawad sa mga sala nga nahimo namon. Tinuoy kami, patakosa kami palihog sa pagsimba sa imo. Kabay o ginuo, mahatag namon ang mataas ng pagdayaw sa imo. Sa ngalan ni Kristo Yesus, Amen. Good day and welcome once again to our online worship service. We are so glad to see that you have come to join us in worshiping and praising the Lord together. As we start, let us sing this song which reminds us that He who is living in our hearts is always greater than He who is living in the world. Let's sing. Better than the riches of this world Better than the sound of my friends' voices Better than the biggest dreams of my heart That's just the start Better than getting what I say I need Better than living the life that I want to Better than the love anyone can give Your love is you Give me breath and all your love. I give my heart to you because I can't stop falling in love with you. I'll never stop falling in love with you. 
nothing but your love I give my heart to you Because I can't stop falling in love with you I'll never stop falling in love with you I can't stop falling in love with you I'll never stop falling in love with you Saturn ng mga announcements. Gapadayo ng aton nga devotional. Gapadayo ng aton nga Bible reading. Gani kabay pa nga pagasunda naton ang pagbasa sa aton nga mga Bibles. Kakabay man ang aton mga devotional guides magamit kid naton sa paghimo naton sa aton nga mga journals. Kay pwede gid ini naton i-share sa aton nga mga families. sa iba nga mga tawo kung may ara kita nga tiniol. Sa gihapon ng aton nga 6 PM prayer time nagapadayon ka gina-invite gid kamutanan sa pagupod sa amon sa pastoral staff sa pagpray sa kada isa sa kada alasay sa gabi. Kung may ara ka mo mga prayer request, mga pasalamatan, pwede gid na ninyo i-send sa amon. Kagang aton nga prayer meeting, nagapadayon sa Sininga Wednesday ang aton speaker, si Pastor Ronnie. Kung may tinion ka mo, pwede ka mo kakadto dali sa simbahan or pwede man ka mo makaupod sa Amon online. Ang aton nga online Bible study, nagapadayon man kag sa Sininga Bulan, tungod bago ang aton nga tema, pagkatunan naton ang stewardship. Gani kabay pa nga ululupod kita sa gihapon sa pagtuon sa Sininga Friday. Alasay sa gabi man sa gihapon. Ang God's Heart Ministry, nag-cater gids ang inyong mga prayer request. Kung may ara ka mo prayer request, or mga pasalamatan, or bisan testimonies, pwede nyo gid ina ma-share sa amon para ma-pangamuyuan natin, kag ma-share man natin sa iba ng inyong experience with the Lord. So kabay pa nga kung may ara ka mo mga prayer request, hindi gid ka mo magkataka nga i-share ina sa amon. Ang aton nga rice permission nagapadayon kag in behalf sa mga pastors sa aton nga outreaches nagapasalamat gid sila sa inyo nga bulig sa pagsakdag sa ila pamaagi sa aton rice permission kag sa pagsakdag ninyo sa ministry sa nagkalain-lain naton nga mga kasimbahanan. Kung wala pa ka mo nakakonek sa aton nga Facebook, sa aton nga YouTube, kag sa aton nga Instagram, Kabay pa nga mag-connect kita, hindi ginaton pagkalipatan. Kada may ara kita mga ministries nga ginapost or may ara kita nga mga pahibalo, i-share ginaton. Kag ipabalo man natin sa iban by connecting sa aton nga Facebook, sa aton nga YouTube, kag sa aton nga Instagram. 
This time, kabigo natin hindi nga tinion sa pag-fellowship sa mga kopdana natin sa aton mga panimalay, sa pagpabatsyag sa ila, sang gugma, sang ginoo, pamaagi sa aton pagkanta, sa aton nga fellowship song, Oh, I love you with the love of the Lord. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name, and do not forget to do good and to share with others. For with such sacrifice, God is pleased. Let us now sing our hymn of worship down at the cross. From sin I cried, dead to my heart was the blood of life. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. Dead to my heart was the blood of life. Glory to His name. So wondrously saved from sin, Jesus so sweetly abides within. There at the cross where He took me in, glory to His name, glory to His name, glory to His name. Dead to my heart was the blood of Glory to His name. O oh, precious fountain that saves from sin, I am so glad I have entered in. There Jesus saves me and gives me free. Glory to His name. Glory 
Gracious and loving Heavenly Father, indeed, the glory alone deserves. You alone are worth to be praised and honored. So once again, this wonderful day, as you gathered us, we are thankful that we could have this moment to meditate upon you, to hear words of inspiration let it be lord as we gather let your presence be felt especially the anointing of the holy spirit this is our prayer in jesus name amen For our responsive reading, please open your Bibles in Hebrews chapter 13, 1 to 8. Let me begin. Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Continue to remember those in prison as if you were together with them in prison and those who are mistreated as if you yourself were suffering. Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed keep pure, for God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. Keep your lives free from the love of money, and be content with what you have, because God said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke to the word of God to you. Consi consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Everyone, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ is the same, same yesterday, yesterday and, today and today and forever. forever. May the good Lord bless upon the reading of his holy word. Let us now prepare ourselves for the pastoral prayer and let us sing the hymn near to the heart of God. Jesus 
Jesus, bless thee, be well, sent from the heart of God. For us who wait before thee, near to the heart of Nalayawan ka, Amay, sa siningat iyon. Ikaw, nga Diyos na mong nga dalang pan. Kanami, kami kasiguruhan kami, may confidence kami, Lord God, nga makapalapit sa iyo, na binagidamay sa trunos ang bugay. Amay, una sa tanan, we are thankful for this wonderful day. We are grateful to you for the very day that you have given to us that we could gather. This is the first Sunday of the month of September. As we think of your faithfulness, Heavenly Father, for the past eight months, and as we're having for five months this uh, pandemic, Lord, yes indeed, because of who you are, because of your character that can be trusted. Once again, Lord God, this is our thanksgiving to you for your faithfulness and kindness to us. Amay ka pa salamat kami nga sa sininga pagpanimbaho namon. Makatulo kami amay sa mga imo nga kaayo nga ginapasagahay adlaw-adlaw sa amon. Ang mga bugay nga adlaw-adlaw gidamo na baton, ang kusog, ang pagtuitoy. Daliawan ka may kay wala ka nagakulang sa amon. In fact, Lord God, nagapadayo nini bisan ara kami Lord God, may kakulangan sa pagalagad na may sa imo. Sa gani sa sining ti onon, sa paghiwat uh, namon sa sining nga panimbaon, kabay pa Lord God nakahatag ini sang pagpahamuot sa imo. Amay, salamat nga sa sini naman nga pagpanimbao namon. Kami naman busguni mo sang imupulong. Bag-o nga amon nga tema for this month of September. And that is seeking Christ through our giving. Lord God, nakita mo nga amon tagsa-tagsa katigipusoon. Nakita mo Lord God ang amon nga mga panguna-una. Amay, wala ini sang na may nakatabon. Hubla si ni Amay nga nakita mo ano ang amun, mga ginapangayo Amay sa mo. Salamat nga sa liwat, bisan may kakulangan kami, ikaw nagapuno sa amun. Amay, kabay pa ang mensahe, paagi sa mo lagad. Ang imo lagad nga si Pastor Neil halan doon. Kabay pa amay nga ikaw magamit sa siya sa sinigan nga tion. You will use him Lord God to expound to us your message that will enlighten us especially on this theme and giving focus on being a, a trustee masaliga na may sang imo mga blessings. Amay sa siniman nga tion, salamat nga paagi sa pagkanta uh, sang choir, even sa mga online Lord God nga recordings nila. Salamat maka, makapamati kami amay sa mensahe sa kalantahon. Amay, nagpanghamuyo mga kami sa mga imo mga kalakan sa sinigan nga tion. Wherever they are right now, Heavenly Father, Whatever they are doing, salamat Lord God, kabay pa nga, they are taking time. Nga Lord God, kung ano man lang ilang mga helikoton, they will be taking time or having this moment, taking time to sit down and listen to your word. Lord God, pasanagi kami ang may samtang mamati kami sa pulong ni mo. Kabay pa inin, Lord God, matudok sa mong tagipusun, kag ikarabuhi na mong ma-reflect in amay sa mong. Amay, nagapadayon mo kami, Amay, pangamuyo na binagid 
nagapadayon kami sa pag-alungay sa imo na binagin ang mga kauturan na mong nga malasakit. We continue to pray for them because Lord God, and you know how, what they are feeling right now. Even kami malamay nga may mga membro sa pamilya nga malasakit. Ara pa may ang ini nga COVID-19 nga amugid na Lord God naghatag sang restrictions sa amon hindi kami kagiho. In fact, subong mismo nagsugod na ang, uh, ang quarantine. Ang bilog nga bulan sang September diri sa Bacolod is GCQ. And we have this quarantine pass Lord God for the reason nga kadamo amay sa nga uh, uh, mga katauhan kung pasugtan mo lang naga nagalibo sila nagalagaw sila may kag we really don't know kung ano ang Lord God ang uh, ara sa uh, in the middle sini nga may nga uh, nga paglagaw nila kay may we don't know we could never see this uh, virus but uh, may salamat nga mapadangot namon ang amon mga konsensya mo gani uh, may sa liwat ginapangamuyuan namon ang amon nga mga kauturan nga gamala sikid kag sa sini gati Lord God naga undergo sa mga sa mga kabulayan sa ilang apart Lord God, some of them are having this their chemotherapy. Are iban sa ila may may dialysis, dialysis, Lord God. This is very hard for them, Lord God. Good day ni sa ila sitwasyon, inbensa mo man lamay nga nagate care sa ila. Gani maamay when we are having this um, situation. Lord God, please uphold us. Please continue to sustain us, Lord. And Lord, we continue to ask for your provision every day. Gaay kami amay sang paghimuno sang mga kinanglano namon. Nga Lord God, uh, mahimunan man ang mga kinanglanon paagi amay sa pag-channel man namon sang blessings para sa ila. Damo man amay sang nakakinanglan sa sinigid nga tion na ang imong uh, mga pagpakamaayo na binagid Lord God sa mga nabun, naulaan sa, uh, sa mga jobs nila ang mga ibangod sa uh, their limitations to, to the workplace, to the place na ginapangabudlayan nila. They are only working two to three days a week. So we continue to pray for them. Lord, we at ang Paul also nga uh, malambot man amo na ang the leadership of the church Lord we continue to pray for the pastor Asab si pastor Nila may uh, nga panguna of the ni pastor Paul and the rest Lord God sang uh, pastor Asab from uh, from pastor Noy uh, from pastor Camille from Manay Nati idugang na lang isalp ko Lord kag even Lord God ang napangayo namon nga mga pag pabakod man amay sa sa mga helikoton sa nga uh, sang administration baka may iwas sa Samuel, si Glenda, si Gary and also si Roldan. Amay we continue also to pray for the board of deacons and the board of trustees. Lord God, eh, baluan mo man amay ang ilang nga mga concern. Uh, some of them Lord God are uh, mambal namon nga uh, they are already senior citizen. And uh, the reason why, Lord God, hindi sila makagwa because they are also restricted. Lord, baka maiwa sila. Pabakura sila, gapon. Even, Lord God, ang ila health, pinapangayo na mo na may nga ikaw, ikaw magpabakot sa ila. And also, Lord, we continue to pray for all the auxiliary organizations of the church. Baka uh, maiwa tanan ang membro sa iglesia. It's not only, Lord God, members of the church. Lord God, those who are joining with us in this in this uh, worship, this online worship, wherever they are right now, in, in every place, Lord God, nga ara sila subong nasa tweeted, kabay pa, Lord God, your hand, nagapando nga may sa ila, kag nagaupod ang imong pagpakamayo sa ila. Amay, salamat nga ang init na ng tanan, mapangamuyuan namon. Lord God, nagpasalamat kami, nga katutom, kita may sa imo. Wala kami na may wala kami yung may dugang wala kami question sa imo. Kundi Lord God, all we have to do is kneel down 
and acknowledge of the goodness that you showered upon us. Every day, Lord God, wala kagakulang. Amay, sa sini nga pagpangamuyo namun, kabay pa, Lord, nakahatag asang pagpahamuot sa imo. Lord God, amuin lang din man ni Lord God ang nahatag namun sa imo. Wala ka kami isang amay, isang ipabugal nga mambal. Iniamun hindi mo an. Kundi, just have to acknowledge that Lord, it all comes from you. It all comes from your hand. Because of your generosity, Lord God. Amay, salamat nga padangat namun, iningamun mga balatyagon sa imo. Kaginabaluan namun, nagapod ang imo kaluoy. Gani amay, kabay pa, as we are praying, we continue to hope of your answer to all of us, especially in our prayers. Lord, once again, we are thankful to you. We give you the praises and the honor that you alone deserve. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us now hear the anthem to be delivered to us by the Bacolod Bethany Church Choir entitled The Old Ragged Cross.
scripture this morning taken from the book of Acts, chapter 20, verses 28 to 38. And it says, Keep watch over yourselves and all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. Be shepherds of the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. I know that after I live, savage wolves will come in among you and will not spare the flock. Even from your own number, men will arise and distort the truth in order to draw away disciples after them. So be on your guard. Remember that for three years I never stopped warning each of you night and day with tears. Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. I have not coveted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You yourself know that these hands of mine have supplied my own needs and the needs of my companions. In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak, remembering the words of the Lord Jesus himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Then Paul had finished speaking. He knelt down with all of them and prayed. They all wept as they embraced him and kissed him. What grieved, what grieved them the most was his statement that they would never see his face again. Then they accompanied him to the ship. Let us now whisper a prayer to Reverend Francis Neil Helen Doon as he delivered a sermon entitled The Principle of Giving. And as we prepare ourselves, let us all sing I Love to Tell the Story. and His glory, of Jesus and His love. I love to tell the story, because I know it is true. It satisfies my longings, as nothing else can do. I love to tell the story, it will be my theme in glory, to tell the old, old story of Jesus and His love. Good morning, good noon, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are right now. We thank the Lord for this wonderful opportunity that He has given to all of us so that we can worship together through this online worship service. So, Sininga Adlaw, ang ato pamalandungan, luyag kong maghatag sa Sininga Tigulo, The Principles of Giving. Ang ato pagkatunan, Acts chapter 20, verses 28 to 38. Ang isa sa mga pinakabudlay nga mga bagay sa sininga mga inadlaw ang mong ekonomiya. Kagabangod sa nga pandemya nga gindala ni COVID-19, tanan kita tanan naga struggle sa aton nga economics. Kag sa sininga aga, ayhan ang ini nga topic ko on stewardship, on uh, principles and giving, mabudlay para sa aton tanan. But uh, let me share to you three things, three principles from Paul nga iyang uh, gin pakita sa aton on Acts chapter 20 about giving. Now first and foremost, give what is yours and do not covet what is not yours. Katahom sang sini nga mga prinsipyo mga kulturan kun aton tunan. In Acts 20:33 nagasiling diri, I have not coveted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. Uh, si, si Paul kung aton na matalupang dan, isa siya ka tent maker. Kagbangod sina, siya nagsiling, wala kuya nagapangita o kun wala kuya nagapangayo sa inyo nga silver or gold or clothing. Wala ko ina ginakwa sa inyo. 
may isa ka missionary nga uh, nadumduman ako naga istorya siya about a new convert may isa ka bago nga kristuhan nun kag inistorya ya ang alan sang sina nga nga convert tabuon ta lang sang alan nga one so ling ya one kon may ara ikaw sin kabilog nga baboy ang pulo bala ka baboy ihatag mo para sa ministry sang simbahan para sa ministry sang Ginoo siling sang ni Juan oo ya tagugid ko may ara ako sang sina nga mga bagay sang sang 100 ka bilog nga baboy 50 iha tagugid siling sang uh, sang sini nga uh, missionary siya ti ko may ara ikaw 50 abi ka baboy 1 iha tag mo man ang 25 ka bilog dina testingan sa sang missionary uh, 50% ipangayuon naman siling yang of course iha tag ko gid ang 25 ko may ara ako sang 50 ka bilog nga baboy siling naman sa iya ti 1 kun may napulo ka nga baboy iha tag mo bala ang 5 siling iya, of course iha tag ko gid ang 5 para sa Dios now siling sa missionary sa iya 1 Kung may ara ka sang duha ka baboy, ang isa ka baboy ihatag mo bla para sa Ginoo. Siling ni Juan, subra-subra na ginang imo ya nga pangayo ya kabalo ka nagid nga duha lang gid kabilog baboy na kun kwa ko pang isa. No, my friends, ang ina nga istorya naga remind sa aton nga tama sa aton ka generous, we are extremely generous in theory but not in practice. Nagasiling kita sa aton makugalingon kung may ara lang ako sa 1 million pesos, kung may ara lang ako sa 10 million pesos, ang tunga sina ihatag kugit. This is simply not true. If we are not faithful in giving our 10% of our income to the Lord, we would not even dare to give half of the 1 million or the 10 million or the 100 million that we will have someday. My friends, may harap man sa istorya sa isa ka pastor nga nagdamgo siya. Nagdamgo siya ng isa ka membro sa simbahan, may dako nga donation. Kaga uh, kay may project sila nga ongoing. Now, sa pag-aga uh, sina, aging kantuangin sa pastor ang membro sa simbahan, kag inambalan nga utod. Kagabi, nagdamgo gin ako, kag uh, inpalipas ko ang pila ka mga inadlaw, kag nagabalik-balik niya po ng ining damgo sa akon. Now, naglipas ang isa kasi mana nga ginsugiran niya itong yato nga membro nga nagdamgo ko ng pastor nga may ihatag siya nga dako sa iya nga sa project sa simbahan. Now, one week later, nagabot ang membro sa personage kag excited ng pastor. Kaga siling sa nga membro siguro, ang ininga uh, siling sa pastor siguro, ang ininga membro, may ihataging nga donation kaya may ginadala siya nga dako nga envelope, no? brown nga envelope. Kag masiling niya sa iya pinsar, ang guna ni Gurong Kamaturan sa ngakon niya damgo, mag-aamot gin ang ining nga membro. Now, may ginatag siya siling niya, Pastor, may ihatag ko para sa imok na lipay gin ang Pastor. Now, pagkapuli sa iya nga member, tapos sila sa istoryahan ay tapos siya yung pasalamatan, inabrihan sa Pastor kay madamol ang brown envelope. Pag-abri niya, hindi gali donation ang unod sa brown envelope but isa ka libro kabalo ka mo mga kauturan kung ano ang title sa libro How to Interpret Dreams <laughs> so di na to makita nga kita we are most of us are generous in theory but sad to say not in reality kabay pa nga kita nga mga kristuhanon nga nagapamati sa sining uh, minsay sa sining aga hindi ya sa pagkamatuod nga ang ining uh, ginhambal na ito nga pululungon nga generous lang kita in theory but we are also generous in reality my friends ang unang nga principle nga gintudlo ni Pablo sa aton amo ang principle that we should give what is ours and do not covet what is not ours ang aton ihatag amo ang ara lamang sa aton Ang ikaduwa nga principle nga ito matunan sa so kay Paul on Acts chapter 20, nagasiling, It is a great joy to give what you have worked for. Yes, my friends, dako gid ang aton kalipay, dako gid ang aton kasadya, kung ang aton ginahatag, aton gid nga ginpangabudlayan. 
siling kagina ni Pablo sa aton, hindi ta maghatag sa wala sa aton, kundi ang ihatag naton ang ara sa aton. Subong nagasiling si Pablo, ang imo nga ginpangabudlayan, may mas labaw ikaw nga kalipay kung imo ina ihatag. Acts chapter 20 verse 34 nagasiling, You yourselves know that these hands of mine have supplied my own needs and the needs of my companions. Yes, my friends, si Paul was a tent maker. Kaga uh, one time nagkita ay sila ni Priscilla kag ni Aquila sa Bukobak sa aton nila mabasahan kag mga tent maker sila. Dra sila na introduce sa sina nga trade. But si Lingon, si Pablo nagahatagid halin sa iya nga kinitaan. Si Kent Croquet nagsiling siya, Giving isn't hard if we love the object of our gift. But if we don't love the recipient of the gift, giving is extremely difficult. Mga kuturan, matukod giling ini kung ang objects ang aton gift, aton ginapalangga, dako gid ang aton kalipay nga maghatag kita sina. Kung palangga mo imo sawa, palangga mo imo bana, imo mga kabataan, imo pamilya, wala ka nagadwa-dwa sa imo nga ihatag bangod nga kabalo ka kung sino ang imo ginahatagan but who is the object of our gift kung maghatag kita sa simbahan ang pastor bala ang church bala o kung si Kristo Jesus mga kuturan kung si pastor ang inyo nga object sang ginata paghatag sang offering that is wrong hindi ka gidna malipay kaga sa imo pa lang na nga balatsagod nagadua-dua ikaw sa paghatag but there's nothing wrong if you will give to a pastor, bangod sang ang objects ang imo gift, amo si Kristo Jesus. Pero kung ang objects ang imo gift si pastor, hindi ina manami nga klase sang theology. Kung ang object ni mo sang gift is the church, hindi man manami ina. Kay karon ara da sa church lang ng ministry ang limitation sang imo paghatag. Now let me be clear with this. The Bible teaches us that the object of our gift is not the pastor, is not the church, but the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible teaches us that Christian giving is a choice and it should be given willingly. We learn this in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. Each one must do as he has purpose in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion. Okay? Each one must give. Just as he has purpose in his heart. Mga kuturan, butsilingon ang balaan niya kasulatan na gatudlo sa aton. Yet Christian giving should be cheerful giving. Malipayon kita nga nagahatag. Dapat wala kita nagakusmod sa aton nga pag-offering. Masiling kita sa aton kugalingon na ginahatag ko man to man. Nagkusmod ikaw, nagyambi ikaw, hindi ikaw malipayon. Siling ni Pablo, God loves a cheerful giver. This is truly a biblical assertion, mga kuturan. Paul assures us that the Lord takes special delight in those who are joyful, those who are energetic, those who are happy givers, merry givers. May arap bala kita sa dako nga kalipay may ara bala kita sang dako nga kasadya sa aton tagipusuon kon maghatag kita can you truly call yourself a cheerful giver kabay pa mga kuturan nga sa sine nga pagpamalandong naton aton ma-check nga aton kay galingon every time nga mag-offering kita every time subong nga mag-bank transfer kita every time nga mag-fund transfer kita kay online nga aton giving or magpadala kita sa simbahan through Palawan or whatever Malipayon bala kita. May arap bala sang kasadya sa aton kasing-kasing. Now thirdly, the third principle that Paul is teaching us is this. God gives more blessings to those who give than those who only receive. Yes, my friends, ang Dios nagahatag sa mas madamo nga blessing sa nagahatag sang sa nagabaton lamang. In Acts 20.30, 20, 20.35, basa ako In everything I did, si Paul ni Gambal, I showed you by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak, remembering the words the Lord Jesus himself said. 
it is more blessed to give than to receive. Yes, kabalukan mo mga kuturan, a little uh, uh, trivia. This is the only saying of the Lord Jesus Christ not found in the four Gospels in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It is more blessed to give than to receive. This saying, I tell you, is only found in the book of Acts. Now, may istorya na nungod sa mga kwarta. Nag-istorya na ako ng mga kwarta. Ang 20 pesos, ang 50 pesos, ang 100 pesos, ang 500, kagang isa kalibo nag-istorya sila. Siling sang 20, ako yung permigid sa jeep, sa tricycad, kag sa tricycle. Siling naman sang 100, ako yung permigid sa taxi, kag sa mga barko. Siling naman sang 500, ah, perdi ka mo yan, kaya ako yan sa mga restaurant, sa mga sinihan, sa malls. Siling sang 1,000, sang isa kalibo, ah, wala, wala, gika mo yan sa akun, ara ko sa mga hotel, sa casino, sa mga big time nga mall, sa mga big time nga mga restaurants. Na kung 50 pesos, nagahipos lang. Mangkot sila nga agahipos kada 50 pesos, nga away kagigambal. Sa bat sang 50, balaan nyo nagapamalandong ako, kaya ako ya ara permi sa simbahan nga gina-offering sa mga tao. Wow! Ari, imo-imo, marami nga istorya nga ako na basahan, no? Pero mga kuturan, check up po na ito ng aton nga mga kugulingon na nungod sa sini. Now, what is the proof of our love? Although we can give without loving, we cannot love without giving. My friends, giving our money to the Lord proves that we love Him more than the things that we could have bought with those money. If our offering means nothing to us, it means nothing to God. Nadumduman na ito ng hambal ni David, no? Nga kung ang akon lamang na sacrifice will cost me nothing, I will not give it to God. Now, let me share to you a story of a little girl nga nagatindog sa isa ka gamay na simbahan one Sunday morning, kagangalan sa sininga babae, si Hattie Mae Wyatt. She wanted to walk inside the church to sing songs to learn about God and to worship the Lord Jesus Christ. Pero nakulbaan siya because she was alone. Her clothes were, were shabby. Why siya nakapaligo? Why siya nakapangusay mayo? Kag she had no ticket. She, the church was often so crowded nga kinanlan nga isang admission tickets ka antes ikaw nga makasimba sa sinera, simbahan to avoid overpopulation. Now, new facilities were desperately needed by the church. Kaya si Haiti, bilang isa ka gamay nga bata, uh, hindi iya na iya ni nabatsagan gali ang ining needs sa simbahan. Now, si Reverend Conwell happened to walk by sa may front sa church kaya nakita iya si Haiti nga nagatindog gira. Now, he took compassion on Haiti kaya gindalaya si Haiti sa sulod sa simbahan. Kaga sa madamo ng mga tao, very crowded, ginbutang niya sa isa kalugar dito si Haiti, sila niya dra kapungko, kaya uh, manimbahon kita ara kadira. And Haiti gave him the hug uh, na nag-comfort sa sining gamay ng bata. This embrace would be, would be etched in the mind of the reverend towards the, his whole lifetime. Now, a short time later, Si Haiti nga gindala ni pastor dito sa sulod became so ill and she died. No? She was a frail little child. Ang iya nga parents, gin pangita si pastor ka nga nag-friend sa iya sa ila nga daughter. Kag sa funeral home, samtang galik nag necrological services sila, na necrological service, Ang, ang iloy ni Haiti naghatag sa kay Reverend Conwell sa isa ka gamay nga kahita na, dra, na sulod ang kwarta ni Haiti. Kaya may instruction sa gali kay nanay niya na nag-save siya sa kwarta kag kung anong matabo siya ihatag ina kay pastor. It contained 57 cents. 57 cents mga kuturan. Siling ni Haiti sa iya iloy, anti siya magtaliwan, siling niya ihatag ina kay pastor because it should help 
in building a bigger church. Big enough for all children. Ang pastor nagbatsagid sa emotions nga hindi niya matungkad kagin accept niya yad tong 57 cents nga ginhatag ni Haiti. Later on, my friends, si pastor gin share niya ang ining story sa congregation. Now, each of Haiti's 57 pennies was auctioned. Was auctioned. I mean, dre katahom sang sining a story, 57 pennies auctioned. Ang mga membro sang simbahan made donations to buy these pennies. Grabe nga mga cheque, grabe nga mga donation, far and wide nagalabot dito. Bangod na tandog sila sa story ni Haiti May Wyatt. And my friends, they, they started a society in which they call Wyatt's Might Society. Dedicated sila on making Little Haiti's 57 cents grow. Ang amount nga na-raise nila mga kuturan was very sizable amount. Grabe, kadako nga kwarta ang ila nga natipon bangod sa yantong nga project. They were able to buy new properties. And 54 of Haiti's original pennies were in time donated back to the church where they were put on display and can be seen to this day. 54 ang tatlo wala pa makita but the next time you are in the city of Philadelphia look up Temple Baptist Church with a sitting capacity now of 3,300 people and be sure to visit also Temple University and in addition to that the Good Samaritan Hospital kabalo ka mong kundi na ang origin sang ila nga pagpatindog sang sining ang mga properties sang sining ang mga respected ministries they all come from the fruits of the Temple Baptist Church purchased from the seed money of Haiti May Wyatt's 57 cents mga kuturan ang ining istorya nagapakita sa aton nga mabiskan gamay lang imong mahatag i-bless sang Ginoo ang ina nga ginhatag nimo. So my friends sa sining agaw, madamo kita sang natun-an halin sa kay Pablo, tatlo ka principle. Let us not neglect the opportunity that God has given us to give. You are assured that your offering will find its way to impact a life for the glory of God. My friends, kabay pa na magapadayon kita sa paghatag sa ara sa aton, hindi ang wala sa aton, malipayon kita nga nagahatag sa aton nga mga kinitaan, kag gamiton sa Dios ang aton nga mga ginhatag para sa iya kadayawan, kag para sa pag-expand sa ministry sa Dios sa sinia kalibutan. Let us continue to be happy and cheerful givers to the ministry of the Lord because the object in whom we are giving is the Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless us all. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Neil. Mark 12, 44 says, They all give out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, Put in everything, all she had to live on. Let us now set aside our tithes, our pledges, and our offerings to the Lord.
Let us all sing, make me a blessing. Let us pray. We thank you, dear Lord, for the message given ni mo sa sining aga. And we thank you, Lord, sa imo pagpakamaayo sa kada isa sa amon. Thank you, Lord, sa pag-bless mo sa amon. Kaghimua kami palihog na blessing man sa iban. Ginabalik namon ginoo sa imo ang amon mga tithes, pledges, and offerings. Kabay ginoo, ini imo gitpakamayuhon na magamit sa imo iglesia. Initanan, ginapasalamatan namon sa ngalan ni Cristo Jesus. Amen. Let us now prepare ourselves for the Lord's Supper. And as we prepare, let us all sing the hymn, Let Us Break Bread Together. As we share together the symbol of what the Lord has commanded us to do so long as we live. 
It is the word of God that tells us, especially Paul, who says, For I have received the Lord that which also delivered to you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took the bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as up as ye drink it in remembrance of me.
Our God, we thank you for this opportunity you've given. Even in our own houses, Lord, we're able to synchronize with our brethren, not just here in the Philippines, but worldwide. And uh, thank you, the Father, for the many things you have done for all of us in this pandemic time. Make us worthy, O Lord. Search our hearts. Forgive us for the many sins we've done unto you. Make this emblem, O Lord, be a blessing to all of us wherever we are. Beloved in the Lord, please join me as we partake of this bread, the symbol of the body of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us now take take and eat of it. It is Jesus Christ who said, this cup is in the testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. Together, let us all drink of this cup, the symbol of the blood of the Lord. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. O Lord our God, we thank you so much for what you're doing in all of our lives. We just don't know, Lord, how long will we do this. We miss our gathering together, Lord. But we're just waiting for your will to be realized, especially in our church. And for those people who joined with us, may you continue to be with our brethren, O Lord. Double your blessings to them. Thank you for this opportunity. As you have commanded us, we'll continue to do this so long as we live. Thank you once again in the sweetest name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us now read our church mission and vision and the church covenant. Bacolod Bethany Church is committed in bringing the gospel, building lives, caring for others. Bringing the gospel through evangelism, worship, Bible study, music, and stewardship. Building lives, 
through nurturing education, preschool ministry, discipleship, and fellowship. Caring for others through outreach, church planting, community service, visitation, and better facilities. Let us read our church covenant. Having been led by the Spirit of God to profess our faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and having been baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we do now solemnly and joyfully affirm our covenant with God and with each other. We pledge to serve Christ in the fellowship of this congregation. We shall endeavor to love one another, to remember one another in prayer, to share in each other's joys, and to sustain each other in times of distress. We aspire to be a fellowship of the concerned, where the lost may find Jesus Christ, sinners may find pardon, seekers may find meaning for their lives, and where all who come may find welcome. We shall strive to be responsible church members through faithful attendance, study, service, and giving. We shall seek to be obedient to Christ in our daily living, and we shall strive for attitudes and actions which will reflect God's Spirit working through us in all our relationships with people. Believing that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, we shall endeavor to avoid experiences and habits which defile the body and hinder our witness. Bound together in a fellowship of faith with all who confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, we shall pray and labor for a spirit of unity among Christians. Believing that our call to be a church is a call to witness in the world, we dedicate ourselves anew as servants of the Lord of all life. We shall strive for justice, freedom, dignity, and peace for all people and to be ministers of God's reconciling love. We further pledge our support to our missionaries who witness with us to the Lordship of Jesus Christ throughout the world. Acknowledging our human frailties and ever-seeking forgiveness, we profess our need of the Holy Spirit and commit our lives to Jesus Christ, and through Him, to the care, the judgment, the deliverance, and the mercy of Almighty God. Amen. Let us end this worship service as we sing our hymn of commitment, Make Me a Channels of Blessing.
Heavenly Father, we are thankful to you. We are thankful for the rest of the time that you have given to us that we having this worship service. We are thankful that we have heard and was inspired, especially the moment that we are one in worshiping you in spirit and in truth and for listening the message of the choir and the sermon let it be lord that through our worship it gives you honor and praises so heavenly father as we are about to go to our respective places after this worship service let it be lord that your benediction will be with us the lord bless you and keep you the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you real peace now and forevermore amen and amen amen <laughs>